Watch you guys got another video here for you. This is another troubleshooting video. Uh, I sent this PC over to Brian who uh, literally bought the PC off of me and when it arrived uh, DPD decided to obviously break it during transit and we don't know what is wrong with it so I said we'll have a quick troubleshoot and try to find out what is wrong with the PC. So we have tried a few things. There's power going to it. You can see the uh, lights are coming on. These are powered by SATA cable. Uh, when I push the power button, we are getting no uh, power to the board itself. So what I'm going to do here is remove the graphics card. And then what we're going to do is try to jumper it. And then we'll try and do some other things like test the power supply. And also uh, re try to connect these cables, make sure they're reconnected properly. And try some things uh, to make sure that we can troubleshoot this correctly. So let's go ahead and uh, start that off. So what I'm going to do is quickly remove... Uh, the graphics card here and the reason I'm doing this is because obviously I want to get access uh, to the power pin on the board so it bypasses the uh, power button um, so that's what we're going to do here so let me just quickly remove the GPU from here There we go, that's out. So what we need to do here is I'm just gonna quickly remove this cable here and try to jumper this here to bypass, to bypass the power switch. So I've got the cable off here to bypass this. What we need to do here now is put some power back in. You can see we've got power back in here. So I'm going to get my screwdriver here and just literally jumper these two pins and see there is no power going there it's not it's not powering on so we know it's not the power switch so we'll put that back in and I'll quickly take out the 24 pin and the CPU connector and see if we get power to it and put a separate power supply on here so let's go ahead and get that done so I'm going to quickly do that so let me put this power pin back on okay that's now back on so we've still got no power here so what I'm going to do next is um, I'm just going to quickly take out this 24 pin here and we've got that out I'm going to take out the CPU connector here and we'll put another power supply in just to see whether we get power. Now these power supply testers are not great, but it is a quick way to quickly test to see whether we are getting any sort of power issue here. So we can quickly power this into here. which you can see here, we are getting fans spinning here and the power supply is showing power. So it's more than likely not a power supply issue, but we'll try it. We'll try it and get another power supply. I'm going to take the power out. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a, a really good power supply to test to hand. So what I'm going to do is use a cheaper power supply just to get some power there, just to see. And that will be good enough for what I need for this test. So let's get the power supply in. Okay, so we're there. We've got the 24 pin in. 
going to add some power to this power supply that we got on the back here. I'm just going to add this in. And then what we're going to do is see if we get any power to that. And we are not getting power, which is not good. So we know it's not the power supply. And that's because we've got new power going there. So it's not the power supply. And that power supply test has told us that we had power going there to the 24 pin and the CPU. It told us we had power going to all those areas. So it's not the power supply. This could be a motherboard issue. So what I'm going to do is literally take everything out here, take this RAM out, start taking some things out and see if we can uh, decide whether it is a... Um, motherboard issue okay so i've removed all the cables here i'm going to have to take these cables out of the board and i'm going to take the board out of the case just to make sure there's no issue and we can put this onto the desk and literally put some power to it and see if we can get it to post uh, from uh, from outside of the case here it's just bypasses all the things that are plugged into it to make sure there's no issues with those and this will just go back to a bare bone system where we've just got a board memory uh, drive chip and stuff like that to make sure everything's working all quite okay and if it doesn't work from there then we can sort of basically get down to the nitty-gritty which is more than likely going to be either a cpu or motherboard issue more than likely it's going to be a motherboard issue and maybe this got broken in transit so what i'm going to do is get this unscrewed here and get it out onto the bench so let me go ahead and get all these unscrewed here and uh, we can continue okay so i've got the uh, motherboard out and I've just put the power supplied, which I had lying around here. I've just got the CPU one in, into the board, and I've got the 24 pin into the board here. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is jumper this down here to make sure it boots and powers on. And if it powers on, and we see the fan spin up on the CPU, then we know there's some sort of issue inside here with the fans or whatever it was that was causing that. Uh, because it's now out of the uh, case so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now so as you can see we've got some power going to here and if i try to jump on these two pins here we are not getting any power going through or any led light here or fan spinning at all here and there is power going to this because it's uh, going to the board here uh, via the power supply here so there was something definitely wrong with this board and the board is packed up somewhere along the line being delivered it's been broken and now we need to replace the board so that's what we're going to be doing replacing this board here now i haven't got the graphics card uh, plugged in here i'm just seeing if we can get the fan to spin on the cpu but it's not and uh, it's completely dead and uh, there is no power going to it so it looks like we're going to have to replace this here uh, and the power is going here as you can see if I plug in here you'll see there will be power going to this there we go so there is power it's just not powering the board so the board is dead and we need to replace it now of course there's a chance that it could be uh, the uh, CPU and you know there is always that chance but it's very unlikely going to be the CPU. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is literally, like I said, we're just going to replace the board. That's probably going to be the easiest route here uh, to try to fix and resolve this problem. So that is basically how you can quickly troubleshoot a dead brand new computer or a computer not uh, turning on properly uh, when you first built it. Yes, we can take this off here. I can check the CPU. By putting my hands onto the CPU and see whether the CPU actually gets warm and in this case it's probably going to be cold because there's no power getting to the board because the board is dead and that's basically it so it's just a simple case of um, getting another board and replacing it how it died in transit I really don't know maybe dropping it they dropped the parcel or something and it shocked the board uh, and maybe that is the case I don't like this plastic clip here that holds this thing in it just flops about as you can see here, it's really, really not a very secure way of securing this drive here. It keeps flopping about. So I don't like that mechanism there at all. 
But anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.